Hi everyone, it's Becky here. Welcome to another new video on my YouTube channel. And today's video is a special edition one. It's a grand sketchbook tour of the five sketchbooks that I filled up in 2022. And yeah, so all of these five sketchbooks are all uh, sitting very safely, comfortably on this bookshelf with all my other sketchbooks that I filled up over the past 11 years. So I've been sketching on a daily basis for 11 years now and I have filled up over 50 sketchbooks of different brands. Um, most of them are here on the higher shelf. Uh, these are my most recent ones from the past five years and those ones on the lower shelf uh, here are from the, early, the first five years or so, okay? And um, yeah, over the past 11 years, I've been having a huge revolution uh, with my drawing and painting style. I've already done some of um, some sketchbook tours of my old sketchbooks, so you can have a look in the um, in the playlist sketchbook tours. And this is a corner of my reading room that you have never seen before. So sketching on a daily basis is a really important way for me um, to relax and to forget about all of the worries in life. Because as humans, we can't avoid a lot of issues that's, you know, that's, you know, in the way of our lifestyle, right? And so I just, about 12, 12 years ago or so, I found a way that I'm able to use drawing and watercolors to uh, record my lifestyle in the form of art journaling. And by looking through old sketches, I say the time before the pandemic, I feel like traveling back in time and this one, this sketchbook is from 2016 to 2017. I feel like traveling back in time, looking at these visual imageries and my writings accompanying each little sketch. So even though these are just illustrations of food and drinks, uh, for me it's very personal. It reminds me of um, how my lifestyle was during that period of time in 2026, no, in 2016. And um, yeah, so food illustration is more than just pictures of food is of someone's lifestyle. This is kind of like, you know, time traveling by looking at these visuals, even though these are not uh, perfect art pieces that I could hang up um, in an art gallery. So the main reason that I've been keeping art journals for so many years, the main reason is that uh, we don't have until eternity on this earth. Our years on here in, in this world are actually very limited and every day, every little moment can be really precious. And I don't want to waste too much time on things that are not so meaningful by spending hours watching TV or swiping on my phone. Well, it's really hard to get rid of the habit of swiping on phones or you know, watching videos, but I try to try my best to limit myself from those addictions and try to focus on a better addiction which is you know drawing and doing watercolors in my sketchbook so life is really short if we you know think of the many years that have passed by right no matter how old we are you know when we think about the passing of time it always feel like time is always flying by year after year i think the older we get uh, the, the faster time seems to fly by, right? And um, for me, I think one of the effective ways to hold on to um, every day is to sketch in my art journal to keep, to keep visual and also written records of what's happening um, in a day, even though it's something really simple. At 4 p.m., I am enjoying a cup of tea with my mom's homemade pastry. Even something like that, it means, it means something. It's very, very heartwarming to uh, look back on after many years. 
or I could be sketching um, the view outside my bedroom window. Maybe after many years, I'm no longer living in this house. And if I flip through my sketchbook pages, it's going to bring a lot of um, happy and also uh, sad life memories of my life living in this house. So every single illustration in my art journal is just not a literal illustration of what that thing is. It's also part of the big picture of my life. So I'm going to talk even more about my creative lifestyle in future videos. If you have anything, any specific topic you want to know about my creative life, please let me know in the comment section and I'll get ready for a future video. Now let's have a very in-depth look of the five sketchbooks that I filled up in 2022. Let's go. All right, so this is my first sketchbook from 2022. It is an Ortella watercolor sketchbook with an etcher sticker on it. Let's open it up. And the paper weight for this Ortella watercolor sketchbook is 110 pounds and it's pretty heavy. Yeah, very ideal for many layers of watercolor washes. And for the first page, I did the uh, sunset sky outside my reading room window around 4 in the afternoon on January the 7th. So I filled up this sketchbook on March the 19th in about two and a half months. So in the beginning of 2022, I was still spending most of my days at home, maybe taking a walk in my neighborhood um, every other day. Most of the time, I love, um, you know, enjoying the stuff in my kitchen and sketch them and also the fancy sunset skies outside my windows and some more so even though these uh, the themes are very similar just food and drinks and the sunset skies outside my windows I always like to format these pages in different ways and taking a walk to my neighborhood park and sketching the sceneries around me. So when we're outside, we, all, we always have a 360 degree view of, of a scenery around us. So this one is like a selection of an, like a 90 degree view and another 90 degree view on the other side, playing with light and shadows. A lot of fun mixing colors and seeing the magic of the surface of the pond so water is not always flat and it's not always blue. Sometimes it could be a reflective green and a shine with many tones of green. Yeah, and the moon rising outside my reading room window. A cup of coffee from A&W, two slices of bread. And for this page, it was a demo for my Sunday sketch class of a view in my neighborhood park. Some more at home sketches on an overcast day even on an overcast day i could still feel pretty inspired by sketching the gray colors that i see in the sky outside the window some jars of pickles my new water kettle a bottle of vinegar more food and drinks sometimes when the sky is really inspiring i like to use the whole page to do a study and another page. As I mentioned before, I like to uh, format these uh, scenery sketches from my home windows in different formats. So sometimes it could be just a really small one because time is limited or it seems like the, the colors are fading away really fast. So it's a small one for here. And sometimes when the sky is more stable, I like to take more time to sketch uh, the forms and colors that I see. My cup of coffee and a slice of cake roll. Always fun to sketch a plastic container. This one is um, a plastic box of kiwis. Garlics and more little scenery sketches outside my home windows. And this one is a demo for my Sunday class. Um, done from a reference photo of the parking lot um, of a shopping plaza in my neighborhood. Some more sky sketches in different formats. Sometimes it could be just a regular rectangle. Sometimes the frame could be like a vertical 
little panorama, sometimes without a frame. Flipping to the next page spread. Yeah, some more random sketches. So I like to compose uh, these elements very randomly. So I think I began with um, a cup of coffee and um, a little bread over here. So I never know what I'm going to put the next thing or what the next thing is. And so just really um, improvise with the page composition. Right, some Chinese New Year decorations and a small panorama of the sunset outside my bedroom window. Some little sketches of kitchen items for, for my Sunday class. These are really nice sunny day cloud forms as observed from my bedroom and reading room windows and then the sunset. As always, when you're sketching the same, the same scenery, you could always compose it in different formats. For example, this one is like a vertical rectangle. This one is the horizontal rectangle focusing on the close-up of a cloud and a little bit of the forest, but without the houses underneath. Taking a walk in my neighborhood and sketching the houses around the corner of the street. It was a nice sunny day, but very cold. As you can see, the watercolors are really loosely done because when it's really cold outside, it takes a very long time for watercolors to dry. So I just let go and play with the wet into wet uh, effects. More kitchen items. A really fancy sunset sky outside the west window in my home. A bag of bread. It's always fun to sketch plastic packages food packages and boxes, jars, canned food, sketch demos for my Sunday class and also talking about color scheme, how I mix colors and blend colors together in layers. Some more food and drink sketches and the sky, the sky outside the window, whether it's sunny or stormy. It's always interesting to study. Taking a walk in my neighborhood and sketching a little forest. The moon rising outside my bedroom window. So for here, I think it's really important to do a tall panorama like this to show uh, how high the moon is in the sky in relationship to everything here on the ground. So a vertical um, composition is really effective. For sketching a moon rising. Ooh, here, there's a little flower here, a dried flower. I think it's a dried cherry blossom from last year. And sketch demos for my Sunday class. I did the orchids and talking about the colors that I mix for each layer and a bag of cappuccino milk candy. Later on after class, I just um, added the um, sunset sky behind the bag of candy to create a kind of juxtaposition. More sky sketches in different sizes, food and drinks, and some more. Still spending most of, them, most of my time at home and just wandering a little bit around my neighborhood. Yeah, more sunset sketches and roast chicken in a plastic box from Costco, salsa in a large jar. So for this page, I sketched the chicken first and then this jar. And then lastly, I added the sunset sky behind to create a sense of overlapping to make this jar look more three dimensional on the page. Yeah, and some more window views, food and drinks, usually my afternoon coffee or tea and a little snack. The uh, dramatic uh, light and shadows around 9 in the morning. So if you're putting your objects directly in the sun, you're going to get very obvious and sharp shadows. And yeah, sunset sky, my current read, and of Green Gables. Yeah, some more loose 
sketch, sketch sketches, a slice of bread toast, cup of tea, a sketch demo for my Sunday class, quick and loose sketches of sky and my food, taking a walk to another neighborhood park. It's called Cougar Creek Park. And then it was like really windy and cold, but I still managed to sit there for about like 40 minutes to, uh, to finish the sketch. There are a lot of ducks there. All right, I think this one, the moon was actually going down the sky in the west. And sketching the process of eating a banana from a full banana to after peeling it and then just the peel left. Whoa, and moving on to my first cafe sketch. After like two years of self-isolation and not sketching out there at all. This is my very first urban sketch after like over two years. Sketching in the uh, sketching at the Starbucks in my neighborhood. It's about like 10 minutes walk from home and then including these people wearing masks. Yeah, a really nice record of the pandemic. It's not over yet, but I was uh, I got too bored and tired for uh, you know staying inside for so long. So I decided to break out of the monotonous every day and try something new. This one is a sketch demo for my Sunday class. Really fun eggshells uh, and also baking ingredients, bowls, and a measuring cup. A box of milk and a super fancy sunset sky outside my bedroom window. For this time, I I actually intentionally shrinked the side of these houses so I could bring this nice cloud forward. All right, so when we're sketching, we could be very flexible with the proportions of things. It doesn't need to be exactly the same as the real thing. So you could intentionally shrink or enlarge some of the elements depending on what you want to express. And my second cafe sketch, this one going a little further away by taking the public transit. After over two years of self-isolation, I went to Chinatown around downtown Vancouver. This is my very first um, cafe sketch far away from home. So my first cup of latte and a samosa and then the busy cityscape outside the window. And some more at home sketches. And coming back home, stay at home for a few more days to sketch um, everything around me. Even, you know, ginger roots, they look kind of boring, but when you sketch them, you could see the different shades of um, yellows and browns to get the three dimensions done. Class demos for my Sunday sketch class. And going to the Starbucks in my neighborhood again to do another cafe sketch. On March the 15th, capturing people and the baristas in mass. And another trip going to somewhere far away from home. This one is actually at Falls Creek around Main Street Science World Metro Station in Vancouver. It was an overcast day and rain was on the way, so it sort of captured the stormy sky in the distance, the water and the reflections on it. After sketching this, I went to, um, to a supermarket nearby, got a cup of Starbucks and a banana bread. There's always endless opportunities for us to sketch everywhere. And that's it for this sketchbook. The first one of 2022. All right, so moving on to the second sketchbook of 2022. So this is, this time it's a real etcher sketchbook with a llama stitch on it. All right, and it's a small size one. As you can see, it's just a little larger than my hand for each page. And I started on March the 19th and filled it up on April the 30th. So I, as you can see, I'm actually a little struggling painting the clouds outside my bedroom window over here. 
and also the cherry blossom buds. Still learning how this paper works. And then later on, I actually really enjoyed working with this paper using ink and watercolors. And two demos for my Sunday sketch class. And this one, uh, this video that I filmed for YouTube got really um, popular within a few days after posting. So this one was done at Crema Cafe in West Vancouver on a rainy day. Um, yeah, so I enjoyed a, a cup of latte as usual and an almond croissant and then the view in front of me. A lot of people, it got really busy um, later on around noon. And some more at home sketches, canned food, my new bowl, and um, yeah, another trip to Main Street and sketching the busker playing saxophone and the, city, and the cityscape behind him. Yeah, so this is actually done inside the cafe called Terra Bread Bakery on March the 25th. So I managed to sketch this family of four right outside the window and also using my hand to cover my sketchbook page like this so they, so they, really, so they don't really notice me sketching them. I'm actually always very shy sketching people very close to me. So most of the time I try to hide and not letting them know. So here, yeah, two hot cross buns from the bakery the, the day before and some quick little sketch demos for my Sunday class. Some spring sceneries outside my home windows, the cherry blossoms blooming. And another cafe sketch in Yaotown. So this is another Starbucks in the heart of Vancouver around Yaotown. And um, I really enjoyed drawing and then painting these different tones of yellows, oranges, and browns for the brick pattern. Always fun to include people. So because people are always moving and shifting in place, so I don't really um, stress too much about, you know, getting a likeness of people. I just focus more on the gestures. And this one is a really fun page spread for an extra class. So I've been teaching uh, several classes for Etcher over the past two years during the pandemic. And some more food and an overcast day with cherry blossoms outside the window. A pineapple at a sketch demo for my Sunday class. Some more framed scenery sketches of the um, sunset sky outside the window. So it's really fun to record the sunset and then also writing down the time. So around um, early April, the sunset time is around 7.40. Back in January, it's around 4 to 5. Okay, so it's really, I feel like it's really important to uh, create a sequence of seasons and the change of time. Some more cherry blossoms in the um, in a slight distance outside my window. So for these cherry blossoms, I didn't use any ink pen to draw at all. Just leave it blank for the pink uh, layers of paint. Just outside my windows, the moon going down the west sky around 1020 at night. Another cafe sketch in Yaotown. So this one here, I got a really um, tricky perspective with a pretty extreme angles uh, going upwards towards the left. So yeah, just, just pay attention to those directions of these major lines and follow my senses. Yeah, and the really dramatic sky outside the window around 6.45 to 7.15. Writing down the time is very important. You know, so when I'm flipping through a completed sketchbook, I can have um, a feel of traveling back in time. Another cafe sketch. This is actually a demo for my Sunday class. So it was a really challenging one. 
and spending a sunny day around waterfront in Vancouver. First of all, having A and W for lunch, and then walking walking around the harbor area, sketching and painting the mountains and the surface of the sea. And a very quick sketch at at Gastown. This is the famous steam clock. Seeing that very quickly. And sushi for dinner, and the moon rising outside my reading room window before dark, and some more waterfront sketches later on during that week. The Koreans in front of the mountains and the sky, the really iconic view of Vancouver, and the railways, and a bunch of uh, heritage buildings in the distance. Some more colorful sunset skies. Yeah, I think last year, 2022, I've been seeing a lot of um, sunset, fancy sunset skies. <clears throat> bagel, blueberry bagel with a cup of with a cup of English breakfast tea. This one was an early morning sketch. And a sketch demo for my Sunday class on Easter. Another cafe sketch at Prado Cafe on Commercial Drive in Vancouver. So this is my typical way to compose a cafe sketch is to have a cup of coffee and a snack on the bottom of the page and the scenery of the cafe interior or the view outside the window behind. And I love capturing people's facial expressions, their body gestures. Some spring flower sketches. And a very soothing sunset sky outside my reading room window. And another sketch at Prado Cafe. So Prado Cafe have several um, locations around Vancouver. So this one is at um, Chinatown on West Hastings. And a walk to my neighborhood park to enjoy the spring blossoms, those pink um, cherry and plum blossoms, and also the fresh greens of the lawns. And yeah, another cherry blossom sketch outside my bedroom window. More canned food, garlics, a cafe sketch at Forecast Coffee on Main Street. This one is more like a pub. They have a lot of um, they have a lot of wines and other alcoholic drinks on display, and this one sketching the uh, crab apple tree outside my living room window and my neighbor's houses behind a Vietnamese style sandwich and the rhododendrons blooming in my garden very colorful and that's it for this sketchbook so on average it takes me about two months to fill a sketchbook up Right, so now moving on to sketchbook number three from 2022. So I started this sketchbook on April the 30th in Vancouver and I finished it on July the 30th in Montreal, Quebec. So it's a really important sketchbook showing the transition of my life from Vancouver to Montreal. Sketching some orchids, the view outside my reading room window here and the blooming rhododendrons in my backyard. More window view sketches and my current read back then. This one, an overcast day sketching in Gastown at um, Timber Train co Coffee Roasters. A lot of um, heritage buildings in that area around Gastown, Vancouver. And Three little pears in a row, crab apples blooming right outside the living room window. 
and a tiny little sketch of the cloudy sky outside. The next page. Some more um, sunset skies outside my home windows. It's always my passion to capture the forms and colors of clouds during daytime and a lot of times around sunset. And food and drinks down here. So as you can see, most of the time I like to put the sceneries around the upper part of these pages and food and drinks on the bottom. So this paper is uh, from Etcher. It's called The Perfect Sketchbook and the paper is extremely heavy, like 140 pounds, 100% cotton, and it's super durable for many layers of um, washes. Evening sky sketch around 750. Food and drinks on the side. Another cafe sketch at Sirius Coffee down the SkyTrain station of New Westminster. It was a really small but interesting interior here. It was like a red balcony or platform up there and um, yeah, the bakery shelf over here, the owner of the cafe, people ordering. A really nice experience. Some more evening sketches done at home from direct observation. So each of these little sketches it took me about 15 minutes to draw and paint because the um, the look of the cloud is gonna look so different like every, even like every two or three minutes. So I had to work really fast. A lot of times I had to work from my memory and my impression to finish the colors. Some more demos. So these were actually demos for my Sunday sketch class. A jar of cashews and a camper van in my neighborhood with foliage forms behind. Yeah. And um, next page, a super loose sketch at Old Crow Coffee in New Westminster. So I actually did um, the watercolors back home because they were closing in about 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah, so I did the colors back home from memory and from a reference photo. more evening sky sketches. As I always mentioned, we can never get the same sunset sky ever again, even though it's from the same view out there. Some more fancy sky sketches, food and drinks, really colorful mangoes with transitions of red, orange, yellow, and green. A quick sketch on Granville Island after finishing a commission painting for Prado Cafe on the same day. Playing with the different tones of blues and uh, muted greens and blue purples for the water area. A lot of people were, were waiting for the, uh, for the ferry here to the other parts of Vancouver. And for urban sketches, I always try to include people because it really adds a fun narrative and not just blank buildings. Some more, the time for transition from Vancouver to Montreal in early June. The last um, sunset sketch at, uh, in Vancouver. So the first um, window view sketch in Montreal outside my bedroom. There's actually a, um, a school and a soccer field here. Another window view sketch from my apartment in Montreal. A cat latte and the croissant from a cafe in downtown Montreal. My first official urban sketch in Montreal around Point Claire. Very close to the St. Lawrence River. It was a really bright and warm sunny day in early June. And this house is actually a lot fun to sketch and same for capturing the light and shade running through the foliage forms around. This was actually done on the day before I left Vancouver at the demo for teaching an etcher class, 
eating a banana. It was a, like a one hour, 30 minutes class. And sketching by the St. Lawrence River in Dorval was my friend Lara. And the next day was rainy. And we, uh, we met and chat with our professor Lori in the cafe in Dorval. Sketching some stuff at my friend Lara's place. A microscope and a mini sketch of the sunset outside my window of my apartment in Montreal. Could be flipping through and sketching around Plateau Mount Royal. It was my first time um, exploring that area, Plateau Mount Royal. There was a monument down there in the uh, in the square or plaza. And um, I really like the coffee and pastry items around in this little cafe called Edmund's Cafe. And this page was done as a demo for my Sunday class on June the 12th. A new cup from my friend Lara. A new bag of coffee and my coffee maker, the French press. Next page, more sunset sketch, and the apartment buildings um, on, on both sides. The milk carton there in Quebec. So sketching items like this, it really shows my location that this this milk carton only, um, they only have it in, in Quebec and not in Vancouver. Sketching at Cafe Central Pole, somewhere around Plateau Mount Royal. Having fun sketching the items in my kitchen and also writing some notes about this is a really nice typical way to art journal. So not just create beautiful pictures but also to write about um, anything that comes up in my mind as a life memory. And an urban sketch demo for my Sunday class on June the 19th. Uh, so these two houses were these two houses are in the neighborhood of Point Claire. Next page. Um, I think on June the 24th, it was um, Quebec Day, and um, it's, an, it's a holiday in Quebec. So both uh, me and my friends got a day off, so we hang out around the wall. So they, they had parade and um, huge celebrations with musicals and then fireworks later on that evening. So sketching while waiting for the fireworks. And um, me and my friends had pizza for dinner, so we're waiting for our pizzas to arrive. I sketched my friends and the street scenery behind them. That was on June the 24th, 2022. And then Monday, June the 27th, I started working at the summer camp for about one month, working with kids. I think I was really tired after working for a whole day at the camp. Um, the temperature in, so the climate in summer in Quebec is really humid and hot at the same time. So it's really a little hard to endure. So I ordered something from McDonald's and then I sketched the view outside the window. So sketching at the end of the day, after a busy work day, is a really important way for me to recharge spiritually and also mentally. Get ready for the next day. Next page. So these are actually sketch demos for my Sunday class. My shoes and the umbrella. And then it was July the 1st, Canada Day, a holiday in Canada. And I visited my friend Rana. I sketched her kitty, Cleo, who was um, a two-year-old boy cat. Really adorable. Cats, they move around all the time and it's really a challenge. This is my very first attempt uh, sketching a cat in motion. So the kitty was laying down on a table out there on the balcony. And then after I got home, around 8, I sketched the evening sky outside my apartment window. So 
some more fun and um, whimsical sketches of the stuff in my kitchen. An urban sketching demo for my Sunday class. Uh, yeah, I remember a lot of you really enjoyed this class because of the design of this house and the nice contrast of green. Flipping to the next page. Yeah, and I remember I made this sketch after a really tired working day on Friday, the very last working day of the week on July the 8th, sitting on a lawn at the park to sketch this view somewhere around Plateau Mount Royal. And then, on the weekend, in the evening, I took a walk around me, my neighborhood and I sketched this nice warm colors of the brick building on the corner of the street. Sketching at a bookstore with my friend Lara on Sunday at Indigo Bookstore. Food and drink sketches and a calm blue sky outside my bedroom window. A still life sketching demo for my Sunday class on July the 10th. It was really fun to sketch the waffle maker with a waffle leftover in there, bag of flour, and um, baking powder. Cute little at home sketches. So these little items, it takes me about um, 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes to draw and paint each. Another urban sketching demo for my Sunday class. So I sketched the, um, the manager of my friend's workplace while waiting for her. Evening sky and um, chocolate muffins or chocolate cupcakes made by my friend Lara. So this is actually a class demo for my Sunday class working from reference photos of my friend Rana's cat, Cleo. All right, so sketching at um, John Talon Market with my friend Lara. And then a really peaceful gradients of orange, pink, and blues. And that's it for this sketchbook. Let's see, it took me about um, three months to fill it up because I got really busy in the middle of the summer working in the, in the summer camp with kids. All right, so now moving on to sketchbook number four from 2022. This is another etcher sketchbook, but this one is more intended for mixed media, but the paper is pretty heavyweight and the paper texture is hot pressed so it's really really smooth it's very ideal for pen line drawings and i started this on august the 3rd and finished it on around somewhere in september no actually october in early october so it took me about two months to fill it up the very first page spread i spent my time at a cafe in old montreal a cup of latte and a breakfast wrap. This is kind of like an, a bird eye view from up from the upstairs sitting area down. And I think the tiles, the checkerboard tiles, add a sense of contrast and balance to this um, seemingly messy and overwhelming <laughs> urban sketch. And the cathedral, very close by the cafe. Sketching in downtown Montreal on a hot August day. So I finished my, my job at the summer camp and I had a lot more time to explore the city and sketch more in August. So these are the, uh, the buildings and the restaurants, cafes on the other side of the street in downtown Montreal, very close to my university. And sketching at John Brion Market on a really hot day, I had to order a cup of um, iced coffee from McDonald's to stay chilled. Really fun to sketch to, to capture all the people 
and the three dimension of the marketplace and the trees behind. This one was really inspiring to do. Next page. Sketching around at water market. And then let's see, the next day I sketched um, a box of peaches that I bought from John Brion Market. Chocolate chip cookies and a cup of tea in the afternoon. This one was done on Wednesday, August the 10th. Walking around downtown Montreal and sketched this um, uh, Queen Mary Queen of the World Cathedral. Sketching at Cafe Olympico around Mile End area in Montreal. I still remember that day. Um, it was really overcast and then all of a sudden it started to um, to downpour right after I got into the cafe. So I didn't get so I didn't get wet at all. So about after about 15 minutes, the rain stopped and the sunshine came back again. And some more fun little sketches of the sunset skies outside my apart apartment window in Montreal. Always fun to sketch a glass vessel, maple syrup. This one is a really unique sketch. Um, this one, this is the interior of Crew Collective Cafe. Really famous cafe in Montreal. It was both fun and challenging to, uh, to draw uh, these arcs and columns here for this interior. This place, it used to be a bank. And then I think about 20 years ago, the bank abandoned this building and the, um, the cafe owners bought this place. Sketching at Square Victoria and then at, at Water Station the next day with some sushi for dinner. Ooh, my first time trying a cat cafe with a really hot summer day, super humid and um, playing with kind of surrealism. I was trying to uh, sketch a cat and then later on, I found out that it would be so much fun to um, overlap him on top of the interior. And so it seems like he or she is walking, is going to walk through the door to the other side of the cafe. A still life sketch demo for my Sunday class on August the 20th. Having really fun time drawing and painting the tiles on a tabletop at Shaughnessy Cafe in downtown Montreal. So another day I got um, a little cup of matcha ice cream and this isolated building almost ready to be demolished in downtown Montreal. So a lot of nice memories of my life in Montreal, the end of August a pack of corns from John Brion Market, a carton of um, oat milk, noodles, hot chocolate. So it's always fun to kind of randomly combine these things together on a page. So I never really planned the uh, layout or the composition of my page. I just sketch one thing and then I don't know what the next thing that I'm going to put on the page. So most of the time, it's always by random. Sketch demo for my urban sketching class on a Sunday in late August. Some more fun sketches in downtown Montreal, lunchtime. And I sketch my bubble tea and um, bowl of beef noodles. Sketching at Dorchester Square in downtown Montreal. The second day of September, I spent a really nice evening with my friend Lara at the mall um, in Point Claire. And it's really quick and the simplified sketch of, a, of the cafe. Some more sketches. So I did these two for my Sunday class at the demo.
visiting my friend Ranan again on Labor Day on September the 5th and playing with uh, Kitty Cleo again, capturing his many gestures. This one is really cute. Uh, Kitty Cleo was uh, sitting on a windowsill. And my friends um, making stuff out of clay. Some more sunset sketches of the views outside my apartment window. More food items underneath. Sketching at the um, cafe, let's see, in Griffin Town near Lenon Gru Metro Station. It was a really hot day. I think this was the last heat wave of summer 2022. I think this is my last cup of iced coffee and then all of a sudden it starts to get super chilly in Montreal. It's really fun. This is like a bird eye view of the um, Barista's workstation down there and some customers sketching at the park after having my coffee and a pastry the sunset sky and a bowl of chocolate cheerios so lunchtime after my french class at um at the cafe in old montreal yeah so i really like their the mural they're on a brick wall little red riding hood with a wolf in the distance and some dried flowers and leaves on the back of the bench it was really a it was a quiet day in that cafe with just myself during that time an urban sketching demo for my sunday class the weather started to get really cold around mid-september in montreal so i did these quick and loose little sketches at a park in Westmount and these flakes were in half staff to mourn the death of the queen a really really super quick loose sketch it took me about 45 minutes to draw and paint on location on Peel Street right outside Dorchester Square um, I think it was a rainy day and the rain was about to come any any minute so I had to work really fast and I had, I had my umbrella ready beside me just in case. This one is kind of like a one point perspective down the street in downtown Montreal on Peel, Peel Street. And um, seeing and feeling the sun going down the horizon around 7 p.m. in the middle of September. So capturing these sunsets and writing down the time of sunset, it really captures um, the passing of time and seasons. And another cafe sketch in Westmount area of Montreal. And then a sleepover on, on a Friday night in September at my friend Rana's. The next morning, I sketch my breakfast and Kitty Cleo looking at us on the kitchen counter. Yeah, that time was really lucky because the kitty was um, sitting there for like two minutes for us, for me to sketch, to capture his gesture. And then in the afternoon, me and my friend Lara hang around Old Montreal and uh, we're waiting for the sunset. There's the Ferris wheel there in the front. And the girl, a little girl was passing by, so I captured her as really nice, important foreground element. Sketch demos for my Sunday class. And another cafe sketch in Plateau Mount Royal area. And a really fancy one at um, a cafe restaurant in old Europe. It's a really small but cozy cafe and these two girls actually found out that I was actually doing a sketch. So we chatted a little bit. Really fun to meet some new people. And it was a Saturday in late September and um, 
I had a fun little meeting with my friends and professor in downtown. So I sketched them while we're chatting. An urban sketch demo for my Sunday class. This is a corner building in old Europe. This one was done on a rainy day. I think these notes really help to recall memories. From 2 to 3 p.m., a rainy day at Shaughnessy Cafe at Water. And some more sketches at home, resting at home. A new pack of tea, banana and pasta sauce. Nothing is way too boring to be sketched, even like a used tea bag over here. The transitions of towns are just really intriguing to observe and capture. And we don't have to wait for perfect sunny day or with beautiful clouds. Even on an overcast day, a lot of times I could see uh, these interesting kind of grays. Purplish grays, bluish grays, greenish grays in the folds of those clouds. So every day could be a great day for doing beautiful sketches. Sketching at Square San Louis on September the 29th. There's a fountain in the middle of the park and the trees were beginning to change color. And then the next day, Friday, September the 30th, last day of September, sketching at a cafe called White Heron Cafe, capturing the light and shadows and the foliage colors out there. Very loose sketches of a bag of bread and oh, actually an autumn leaf from um, St. Louis Square. So these two set of sketches uh, were class demos for my Sunday class. A really quick 15 minute sketch at um, Dorchester Square, just capturing a slice of this whole scenery in front of me. So when we're sketching, we don't have to you know, sketch a huge scenery in front of us. We can always capture just a very small slice of it. and sketching in Old Montreal at a really well-known cafe in that area. A lot of fancy mirrors and vintage ornaments on the wall, picture frames, sketch of a little alley in Old Montreal. Oh, this one was a really challenging sketch capturing so many details of the interior of the cathedral, Mary Queen of the World. So the other day I sketched the exterior and then in early October I decided to, to sketch the, the interior, see how much I could get it done in like um, in about one hour. And a bright sunny day in early October. So in the morning, I taught my Wednesday sketch class and did a demo of the three colorful corns. For lunch, I went to Old Europe, sketched the view outside the cafe window. And um, having coffee and a snack at Edmunds Cafe around Plateau Mont Royal again. I think this is, I think, one of my favorite coffee shops in Canada. It's very small, but um, the coffee and the pastries are really high quality and tasty. The foliage forms outside my bedroom window on October the 7th. And then the colorful foliage forms of, um, of Mount Royal. Seen from, seen from the park, right down here. Then moving on to almost the last page, some more casual 
the meaningful at home sketches and demos for my Sunday urban sketching class and somewhere around um, around the old areas of Montreal that's it and I saved the leaf I think this leaf is from Square St. Louis So that's it for this sketchbook. All right, now moving on to the fifth and the last sketchbook that I filled up in 2022. This one is a speedball brand, handbook journal. Yeah, so this is real watercolor paper and the weight of the paper is 140 pounds. Very heavy, almost as heavy as the Etcher Perfect Sketchbook. And um, yeah, this one, this one can take many layers of washes. And I started this sketchbook on October the 10th, 2022. And I filled it up around, let's see, the last week of November. This one took me about one month and a half to fill. About 60 pages. So first of all, I did a cafe sketch near Laurier Metro. This is called Carmen and Phillips Cafe. And then later on, you probably have seen this video. Um, I spent about 20 minutes putting my sketchbook on a piece of concrete construction stuff. And I spent uh, like 20 minutes to quickly draw and capture the street scenery on my left. It was a really fresh autumn day in early October. Looking, looking back at these sketches, I, I feel like traveling back in time and um, immerse myself in those moments again. Flipping through these sketchbook pages is kind of like reliving those days and those hours again. This one was actually an urban sketching demo for my Wednesday class. And then this one was done on, on the same week that I met um, a, a new friend, a subscriber. Um, of my YouTube channel visiting from Australia so I gave her like a one hour 30 minute private lesson here at Cafe Castel in downtown Montreal Wednesday October the 12th sketching at the park in my neighborhood and then the same week on Thursday I took a train ride with my friend Lara to uh, Ottawa so we spent about four days there for a weekend conference on art education. So I sketched my friend Lara sitting on the other side, and my cup of morning coffee and the muffin, the view outside the train window, of course, from, from quick impressions when we're passing a farm field. Thursday night, the night, the day that we arrived in Ottawa, in the evening after like a long nap, we went out for bubble tea and then sketch the interior of, of that bubble tea shop in downtown Ottawa. So the messy construction views outside our hotel room window in Ottawa while waiting for my friend to get ready. The next page, a sketch on Parliament Hill in downtown Ottawa the Ottawa River and the buildings on the other side of the bank. People sitting or standing by the railings to enjoy the view here. Sketching my friends, my classmates and some new friends at the conference. And this one was done on Saturday, October the 15th during lunch break before my talk in the conference. I sketched the view on the fifth floor of Ottawa Art Gallery. And then on Saturday in the evening, I sketched a view of Parliament Building, seen from the National Art Gallery's lobby, but right before dark. And then the last day of the workshops at the conference, sketching more people, collaging some stuff for the workshop activity, sketching my professor and my friend Lara chatting while waiting for our breakfast. The last sketch in Ottawa, 
at the park behind Parliament Hill. Back home in, um, in Montreal, sketching this warm and cozy colors of the sunset around 5.50. The three-dimensional shape of a box of pasta and the nice um, purple colors on the package. A sketch demo from my Wednesday class on October the 19th. Yeah, so this one was a really like an ideal time and location to do this sketch on October the 21st. And the day was perfect, it was cloudless, and um, the light was just hitting from the left, the sunshine was from the left, and so this part of the of the building sort of like really bright, and this the, the right hand side was shaded, so it was a really powerful contrast here in this urban landscape. Perfect time, perfect location, and then sketching at John Bruyon Market again, recording the differences of the two seasons. Remember, in my previous sketchbook, I sketched the, the late summer view of this uh, street corner, and now is in the middle of autumn. So it looks very, very different. And the, the displays on the outside of the market, they changed it to, um, they changed those, those displays to pumpkins, and the trees were looking very different from summer, from summertime. And a class demo for my beginner's class on Saturday, October the 22nd. And then after teaching my class, I went, I went out for a cup of coffee and a snack, capturing both the inside and outside of the cafe. So this cluster of pumpkins and leaves were done at the demo for my Sunday class. More food and drinks and the sunset sky outside my bedroom window and these trees were almost bare branches around late October. A lot of memories are streaming back now as I'm flipping through these pages. A class demo for my Wednesday class. So when I'm teaching these online classes I have to work from reference photos, a very clear reference photo for myself and my students. Ooh, a really dramatic sunset sky outside my apartment window. A treat. And a more healthier option, a broccoli. This one was done at Cafe Clark. A really bright day, but super chilly. Uh, near Lachine Canal. Again, playing around with the composition, capturing both the inside and outside of the cafe on one page. A really quick 15 minute sketch capturing the, uh, the golden light and shadows at Lachine Canal. On the way home, a class demo for my beginner's class. And sketching on Mount Royal of the cityscape below on October the 28th. A sketch on, on Halloween at the cafe around Plateau Mount Royal area. Class demo from a Wednesday sketch class. Sketching at the um, a really cool vintage cafe around Plateau Mont Royal and some more the next day the moon rising behind the trees my cup of coffee and a, a, pumpkin, a pumpkin spice bread the golden colors of sun, sunset all of the trees were glowing under the, um, the touch of the sunshine This one was around Plateau Mont Royal as well. I think that Plateau Mont Royal is uh, is a favorite location. That it is so many sketches around there. Sketching in the cafe, corner street, my coffee and snack. Sketch demo for my beginners class, and then for my Sunday sketch class.
right, just another really quick and casual sketch at Cafe Shaughnessy in downtown Montreal. A blazing red sunset sky on November the 9th. Wow, really hot colors. Lunchtime um, in the sea. This one was lunchtime around St. Henry area in Montreal. Really playing with the flow of, of watercolors. The transitions of different towns with water control. And then framing this uh, window view sketch with like a short vertical panorama. I think this is my first nighttime sketch, nighttime urban sketch at Cafe St. Henry of the view outside the window. A freezing day, a freezing cold day around the middle of November, sketching at Cafe Pista. And then I finished the page spread with a bag of bagels on the right hand side. A class demo from a Wednesday class on November the 16th. A snowy day and um, having a warm cup of coffee with almond croissant at Toisium Tass Cafe near Papineau Metro Station. So capturing people in urban sketches is really important for me because people it adds a sense of happiness and relaxation especially to a cafe sketch they're adding a lot of um, vibes and the cheerful mood to an urban sketch a really ambitious sketch at cafe origin near the metro station uh, sherbrooke so they have huge areas of murals on the interior walls. A cold winter day on November the 18th at White, at White Heron Coffee near Sherbrooke Metro Station again. That my second time having coffee at this cafe. The last time I had coffee was um, capturing those buildings and the, uh, the foliage colors. This time I was sitting at a different table and looking at the other street from the other window. Really fun food sketches. These two were done for my Sunday, Sunday sketch class as demos. More cafe sketches. My last um, two weeks or so in Montreal. Some more. This one, the last sketch for this sketchbook it was done at Cafe Le saint in Verdun near Metro Station de Leglise. Again, um, people are always important in my urban sketches. I don't like to just to draw uh, the counter areas and other furnitures and other displays without adding any people. And for most of my cafe sketches, I like to start drawing that people waiting in front of the counter and not just starting those bare uh, furniture stuff and displays. So that's it. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. If you like it, please click like and leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. I try to update my channel two to three times a week. If you have any questions, uh, please leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer your question as soon as possible. Um, in a comment or in a future video. Bye everyone!